Still takes off nice and smooth with the weight and the box on there. Helps if you pull up just a little bit right before you drop. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Boy, look how nicely that's coming down. Bombing truck, take four. Let me go through this real quick for you. Basically, I've used Dollar Tree foam. This is um, just a little wind block that's angled in the front. I've got a swing down door that's on plastic hinges. I got a little bit of glue in there, some hot glue. And I've got a little servo back here that activates, swings the arm out, releases the door, which I'll show you in just a second. I've got some added weights up underneath the plane there on the door to help it drop down further. And these uh, little bars help me open the door when it's upside down. Let me show you how this thing is gonna work. And if you have a dog, and you're kinda lazy and your dog needs some exercise after work, or maybe you're just too tired, this'll drop parachutes, bombs, uh, candy, you could reseed your lawn, or, you could drop a milk bone on a parachute and your dog could retrieve it and get a treat at the same time. Now I want you to take a look at this. This door was blowing closed and not allowing all of my payload sometimes to come out. So I put a stick on there, a little popsicle stick to swing down and to keep the door from blowing all the way closed. And then to keep it from dragging on the ground when I'm taxiing, I put a magnet on the door and a little piece of metal on the end of the stick so now it will stay up as I'm taxing. That door will never go all the way closed. So basically it allows everything in there to come out. And if something gets hooked up on the stick, it'll just pop it off and let it fall out. So let's go watch it drop some stuff. Boy, that deployed nicely. Okay, I like that silk chute so much, I'm going to come down and see if I can get a low deployment, get a better view here. There it goes. Very nice again. All right. That's a good chute right there. Eight line, Silk Essence, take two. Another nice deployment. Nice smooth drift down to the ground. I like that. Well, that came out pretty nice. go nice deployment where's the shoot oh it's behind the tree there I saw it in the shadow of the building there it is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and let's check the strings, how they came out. Aside from scratching onto a bush. Look at that. All the strings are very nice. Separated. Excellent. And here comes Miss Piggy.
<laughs> nice. Nice. Once again. Now here I got the bomb bay door open. And still pull loops and do rolls. The box just doesn't seem to affect my flying performance that much in itself. When I have two ounces loaded in it, that's a different story. I can feel it, but it's not overburdened. Still very manageable to fly. Well, let me briefly go over the flower bombs here and the uh, parachute uh, just a little bit um, just to get you up to speed. Uh, the flower bombs are made basically with seaweed and flour and I'm using this uh, sushi honey which is basically for sushi. That's just all it's for. Seaweed, su sushi seaweed. And I've made some molds for different sized bombs one ounce, quarter ounce, and half ounce. I, I dropped all my quarter ounces today so I'm out of stock, but uh, half ounces and this is just to help me expedite matters and make it easier because I want to know how much weight I'm putting into my uh, box because I don't want to overload it and crash the plane. Um, I have a video coming up on my channel, keep a look for it, on how to make the flower bombs and I'm also going to have one on how to make the parachutes um, my channel is uh, Douglas Snyder. Just type that in the search bar there and then uh, my name comes up with, it's the one with a picture of a squirrel next to it. So I invite you to learn a little bit more about it if you want to. Um, so the bombs, basically I put a piece of, I cut the seaweed to certain sizes, dampen them and to make them the seaweed pliable, put it in here, amp, um, introduce my flour inside, and then I have these tampers made to help tamp things down and compact them a little bit. And they tend to puff up pretty good uh, when they hit the ground. Not quite explode, but they puff up. And then as far as the parachute system I'm using, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, I really like this stuff here. This is called Silk Essence. Um, <laughs> I just went into the fabric shop and I said, I need something with very little memory and um, she didn't really understand what I meant so I said well uh, for example aluminum foil has a lot of memory you crumple it up and it's gonna stay like that I need something exactly opposite of that and uh, she took me to the silk essence aisle and um, I'll tell you what I, it deploys real nice as you can see in the videos and then I have a way I'm attaching them here and then to help keep the strings or the lines um, separated uh, I'm using a, first of all, I'm using one eighth of inch ribbon, and I got this at a fabric shop, and uh, it's uh, one eighth by 10 yards for 50 cents. And these are called dual lock snaps, buck 29 for 10. Uh, these are size twos, and you could use size threes, which are a little bit larger. And what I'm doing is just widening the loop where the lines attach gradually working my needle nose pliers in there so that it can accept four lines a little bit easier and then using hot glue um, I'm keeping them separated and then clip them onto my weighted device and I'm really really happy with this material and this whole system so far so good so that's it in the short and the short of it again visit my channel if you want to learn how to make uh, bombs and parachutes <laughs>